The John Morris Show, episode 101. In this episode, knowing your worth as a web developer. The John Morris Show, your life on code. Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show on johnmorrisonline.com. So, you may have heard this before, but I met my wife in Iraq. Now, if you know anything about the military... You know that there's usually about 50 to 100 guys for every one female. And when you're in another country locked down on a base, well, you can imagine. So she was clearly the prize. And I bring that up because so are you. And I've ran across this several times throughout my career. There's a tendency among business people, your clients, to undervalue developers. To look at you as a dime a dozen and not always treat you with respect. You can hear it in their condescending, just do what I said tone, the way they shoot down your warnings and recommendations, and how they often claim all of the credit for the success of a particular project. It can be infuriating. But the truth is, some developers are a diamond dozen. Now, skill is one thing, but there's way too many who don't communicate well, are hard to work with, moody, insecure, and just a general pain in the you-know-what. I know because I get a lot of hate mail from them. But when you really know what you're doing, it's a whole different game. You command respect. Not because you demand it, but because your clients recognize they damn well better listen. You know what you're doing, and they better pay attention. You are the prize, and your reputation will precede you. And clients, whether bosses, customers, whoever, will recognize the role that you play in their product projects. They'll give you the credit you deserve, and oh, by the way, they'll pay you well for it. Now, there's two lessons in this. First, your job is to know what the hell you're doing. That's your focus, putting in the hours and energy to make sure your skill set is up to snuff. That when you walk in that room or jump on that call, You know your stuff is straight. And then being confident and knowing that you know what you're doing. Not faking it, being it. Not pretending, but doing. The second lesson is remembering that you are the prize. Because when you really know what you're doing, you are. You're not a dime a dozen. You're the gem, the flower among the crap. And you must refuse to let clients treat you any other way. Now, I'm not recommending being an a-hole, but you do need to have boundaries. Know your worth and don't be afraid to own it. Because the truth is, really good developers who know their stuff, who communicate well, who aren't a pain in the butt to work with, are hard to find. And if you are one, you deserve to be treated as such. And don't forget that. Now, if you want to get your PHP skill set up to snuff, I'm just about to release my PHP 101 course over on Patreon. And this course is something that I am going to release in uh, in another way. But when you get it over on Patreon, you'll get it for ultimately less than what you will when I release it in this other venue. And you'll get access to all the other courses, all my source code, priority q and a and so forth. So you get a heck of a lot more. So if you'd like access to all that, then consider becoming a supporting listener over on Patreon. You can learn more at johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening today. If you like this episode, be sure to like it so that I know that you like this kind of content. If you know somebody who could do with hearing this message, I'd appreciate if you'd share it with them. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.